Element Media and Design bringing you a tip for your website design. Now this is for websites built on the WordPress framework with Divi. And uh, what we're looking at today is I was recently asked to look at the tab module and uh, this is what you're seeing here right on my screen and the tab module basically lets us just tab between different sections of uh, text that we want to display uh, the problem being is that we have all of this empty space here at the end of the tab module um, so what we're wanting to do is spread out all of these tabs evenly and uh, center the text and it, you know, obviously it looks centered right now, but when you stretch those out, it's going to be left uh, facing. So um, what we want to do is create code that's going to automatically center this for us, regardless of how many tabs you have uh, in the tab bar. Now, uh, one thing you want to keep in mind is that you don't want to have usually more than 10 to 12 tabs on a tab bar, um, specifically because it's not going to look good either way, even with this code. Um, so with that in mind, this is what we're going to do. So you're going to go to your page editor, and here you can see that we have uh, that those 10 tabs. So we see 1 to 10 here, and that's all of the tabs that we have. You see AC 1 through 8 here, and that's the same as what we're seeing here on the web page itself. And uh, what we want to do is put code beneath that so that it modifies that tab box and this is how we're going to do that. Um, so I've written code which will be um, displayed in the chat post uh, when you're done watching this video so that you can copy and paste this. Um, so this is the code for now so I'm going to copy that and what we're going to do is insert a code module underneath the tab module and inside we're going to paste that code and so you're going to see that right here and all you, all we have to do for now is simply just save and exit and now if I update this and I'll wait for that to refresh okay it's refreshed and now I'm going to refresh my page here you're going to see that that has spaced out all of the tabs evenly and has centered the text on here. Now, how did it do that? Just a brief walk through the code. Um, some of you may not know JavaScript. For those that do, um, you might understand this a little bit better. But basically what it's doing is automatically calculating how many uh, list elements there are. So how many tabs are there? It's dividing that by 100 and calculating that as a percentage and then automatically modifying the width right here of that of each individual tab to be that percentage width and you can see that that basically automatically spaces everything out perfectly evenly um, now the question after this is is what if I have a page that has multiple tabs multiple tab modules and what am I gonna do then well, the code is actually already set up to fix that. So in this case, I'm just going to copy my tab module and make another one beneath that. And then I'm also going to copy my code module, but we have to make a, a slight modification to that code module. And what we're going to do is go into this code module and we're going to change, you'll see two zeros, this zero here and this zero in brackets here. And so for those that know JavaScript, you're going to know what the zeros mean. If you don't, that's okay. What we need to know is that for each tab section, um, it starts at zero and then goes up from there. So your first tab module is zero. Your second tab module would be one. So we need to change that zero to uh, a one here. And then if we save that and update our page again, and then refresh our page you're gonna see that there's two tab modules here and they're evenly spaced out now as an example if I go back into the code quickly and change these back to zeros and update my page and refresh you'll see 
that on the second one it does not work and that's the reason why because it's calculating how many tab modules there are too and so we have to identify that as the second tab module which is number one and so that's how you do that now another thing you may want to do in Divi is actually save this and add it to your library so in the code module if you just click that button on the bottom save and add to library um, you can pull that code back up easier instead of having to make a new code module and copy and paste it every single time. Um, so again, this code will be posted in um, the chat post and you'll be able to copy and paste it from there. Um, if you have any questions, just make a comment on the post and I'd be happy to get back to you.